Yoshi's Woolly World on the Wii U is a video game featuring color vibrancy with some boring level design. I can't just say this is a great maintaining game to play multiple times. Let me explain why the collectibles are oxidant, stupid, and breathtaking, a worthless chore that deliberately needs to be spanked in half, makes sure of fun playability, but it doesn't, it's just tiresome and frustrating. The game really has a boring, beautiful look to it, but it lacks a lot what Kirby's Epic Yarn did and how many of the levels and the bosses were creatively designed. But I will admit, if you want a realistic feel to push a yarn and grant the ability to face really cool boss battles, which makes the game not a low rating because the bosses are really vibrant and edgy and can be difficult to master all of them. What makes this game really not a 10.0 or a 9.0 is that it's directed towards younger audiences. I get that, but some levels are puzzling and shady that a 6 year old cannot figure out no matter how hard they try. The music's alright, the soundtrack is towards peaceful relaxation music, some tracks are really good and I've danced to them in the originality pass. Some gifted levels that praise the creative charm, but it never feels like you can remember this game like such classics as Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo or Yoshi's Story on the Nintendo 64. I will give it that it really keeps you in line and on your toes in some challenging parts, but what makes this game a total threat in deluxable theories and quotation talk is that the collectibles are hard to gather and you will need a guide to find them all. And once you do that, you have another secret level that is so difficult that makes you want to not play this game ever again. I won't come back to this and it's really a total letdown to me because I'm a big Yoshi fan, but this game never gives the running back of being something original all the time. It just gives you a rollback of classic Yoshi with a few creative worlds that drive you insane and frustrated. I'm going to give this game a fair rating. It deserves a 8.4 slash 10, mainly because of the collectibles that filter most humans to break or thrash their controller into flaming bits. If you want a game that has great boss battles and some flashing overall creativity, I say rent it, beat it, and then just not play it ever again. I bought this game, but now I know that this Yoshi game will just be in my collection, but not in my open sharing novelty gaming part. Love the Burrito Master.